This is new European-wide legislation aimed at improving animal welfare further. Um, what it means is that British producers have spent over £400 million to comply with the law, but this hasn't been universally done across the rest of Europe. And in fact, there's over 50 million hens which will be producing over 40 million eggs a day, which will be illegal. And our concern is that those eggs or egg products, once they're taken out of the shell, could come into this country. What are you asking the government to do and why are you challenging the government possibly in, in the courts? Are you going to take this all the way to the courts? Well, I'd like to thank the government and the minister in particular for what he's done to date, but we don't believe the government has gone far enough in protecting our industry. And what we've started is a judicial review process. Um, it's the first stages of this and we're saddened to have to do this, but we believe a bit more pressure needs to be placed on the government to deliver what we would like. Shouldn't the real pressure be put on those European countries who haven't fully complied with an EU directive, whereas our farmers, including those in the West Country, have paid up front? Absolutely right, and um, the European Commission is doing that. It has started legal proceedings against the countries which will be non-compliant. And remember, there will be both compliant producers and non-compliant producers in those countries. There's 14 European member states who are not going to meet the legislation. And the problem is, of course, is that um, uh, the European Commission uh, uh, haven't done enough as we believe they should.